Hey guys, have you ever wondered why you're getting such a headache from OLED monitors? Well, let me try to explain to you. So here I got a couple of different monitors. Basically, these two ones are mini LED, and this is a uh, mobile OLED, and this is a TV OLED. What I wanted to tell you is that I'm running a very high shutter right now, and that's why we're able to see this kind of flickering going on. Now, if I take my shutter speed to a very slow shutter, then eventually everything will stop flickering and that's kind of so let's see now i'm at 1 80th and that's kind of how your eyes will appear so to your eyes none of these devices will appear to be flickering but that doesn't mean that it's not causing a headache so headaches could be caused that somehow your brain can see the flickering even though you're not conscious of it um, so as I'm increasing the the uh, shutter speed, now you can see that this OLED mobile phone, which is the Samsung S22 Ultra, is starting to flicker. This is a worst case scenario. That's why I have this in the test. Ignore that because Samsung is infamous for having the worst screens for mobile. So I'm not the first one to discover that. Uh, pretty much everyone says do not buy Samsung OLED uh, phones. But uh, if we ignore that one and we just kind of uh, take a look at these more serious contenders here, uh, MacBooks are not known for being flicker free. They never claim to be. But what they are is that they, um, they flicker a little bit higher than what most monitors do in hopes that it won't give you a headache. I would say that this is acceptable. It's not super great, but I do not suffer from headaches from this uh, MacBook. Uh, now, the, of course, the best contender is this uh, computer monitor here. This one is not even the full brightness. I mean, <laughs> I would be blinded if we put it to the full brightness because it's so bright. Uh, but still, even though it's being dimmed, it's just you can never ever see any flickering on it whatsoever. It doesn't matter if I go all the way up to one eight thousandths, there's just no flickering. But anyway, what I'm here talking about is OLED screens. So forget about the, the, the cell phone, uh, that's kind of a known issue. But if you're ever talking about OLED TV screens with people, they will insist that there is no such thing as flickering on the OLED screens. So this OLED TV is a Samsung S95B, and if you go to ratings.com, they will officially claim that it is uh, that is pretty much flickering free. But as we can see here, if I go all the way down to a slow shutter speed, one two hundredth, that's when it's not really flickering. Although even then, you can almost see a slight hint of flickering there. But anyway, as I go up in shutter speed think to one five hundredth, that's when you can really start telling the flickering on this OLED screen. That, me that means that it will almost guarantee to cause you a headache if you're sensitive to that kind of things. So you can see, for example, the, the MacBook is not even bothered at this. And now I could think that maybe I'm uh, complaining officially about Samsung S95B, but this is literally happening on every single OLED TV that I've ever seen. So I also own a LG C9 and it has the same problem. So yeah, OLED is just not a good sc screen technology uh, at the time of writing, at, uh, in 2000, 2024.